What's up, YouTube? Over here at Self Made Training Facility in RSM. Got the squad right here Mondo, Frank, Marissa. It's a new face right here. You guys haven't seen her. Ashlyn. What's say up? Say hi. Hey. <laughs> trying to recruit her over here. Trying to recruit. That's fine. But yeah, we're going to hit a little team workout today. We got some bench press, some back. She said she already worked out today, but she said she's still down. So we're doing we got it again. her uh, second workout <laughs> of the day. So yeah, they got a bunch of new machines here. So I'm excited to try out some like bodybuilding um, style machines. I, I got a lot of free weight at my gym. So, you know, change up the scenery, get a little workout in. Haven't got a workout in with Mondo in a minute. In a minute. Frank, so, see what we can do today. Have some fun. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah! This is Marissa's top set right here. We've been Woo! working on her bench. Let's go. They don't got an ego, that's why. Huh? Yeah, they're not stubborn. Yeah, for real. I just, yeah. we, we got, we should see what guys lift the most in the gym and we're like, we're gonna do more. <laughs> you guys wanna warm up or? We do. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you got a bet. You're next. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> All right, we chest pressed to 50s this morning. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> like the smallest things make okay. the biggest difference it's like when you're when you have your hands on it your your hands are kind of like the weight is kind of like going on the outside okay. think about like when you grab the bar of like turning it in this way like I'm trying to like bend the bar okay. obviously it's not gonna bend yeah. and what that does is watch when I like my hands are normally right here and I'll before I lift it up I want to bend it like this way okay. so your elbows and your lap basically it gets your lats activated so when you stay like you want to bend the bar this way pick it up Keep on thinking about bending the bar as you go down, okay. bend the bar as you go down, and then when you come up, still think about that on the way up, because if you just explode up, your elbows will flare out, and then you're just gonna get up like that. Okay. When your elbows are basically like this, it's just a lot of pressure on your, like, your front delt. If you're bringing them here, you're saving your shoulders, and you're getting more lats, and even getting more tricep in it, too. So, I like that cue, bend the bar. Yeah, bend the bar. That's a good one. Okay. This is awesome. Hey, guys. Hey, Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Put a 10, a 5, and a 2.5. A a it's just, I should just do a 10 and 5, but that felt really easy, so. It's a, just do a 10 and a 5. Yeah. 
Okay. 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 I see you. Push, come on. Yeah, for real. Six or eight up. <laughs> <laughs> and the pasta. <laughs> Eating steak okay. twice a day. Oh, warm up. Warm up. You want to get 10? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll think about bending yeah, the bar. Yeah, so think about like your hands. About well, bending the bar right before you go. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good? Yeah, there you go. Even on the way down, think about bending that bar. There you go. Think about even more on the way down, bring these doubles in, like we're here. Back up. Who's yeah, that bar like tight? Yes. There you go. Okay, That's good. Do you feel a little bit different? Did you yeah. feel it more in your triceps, or did you yeah. feel it? I mean, kind of more in your lats, probably in your. I need to add a little bit more. Add a little more weight. All right, let's do it. Let's um, go. Everyone already went, right? What? Everyone already went. Yeah, let's yeah. just put a, a 45 on. Yeah. This shit's are skinny. I think when I put that on, it kind of went. So oh, you're good. Give me a little bit. Thank you. Good, good. I like the height of this bench. It's like perfect, yes. It's like not too low, not too high. You guys feel like this bench is like wider than usual? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty wide too. Like, Marissa, how did you feel on it? Because I feel like you're coming back from like a commercial gym. It's so wide. Yeah, like, it is wide. I like the way the actual bench feels though. Like, it feels pretty grippy, but it doesn't feel too different. I, I like it. I need, to, I need to do like a like 20 reps real quick. <laughs> my working set, like my where my work starts getting hard, that's when I do about like five to six reps and I'll stay there for like three to four sets. So I gotta check today. I think I have like sets of five or sets of six today. That's a good question though, because a lot of people ask like how many reps do you do, like how many reps do you do to warm up? And the biggest um, like mistake I see is people do too much warm up sets before they go really heavy and they're basically you pre-fatigue yourself. You don't want to fatigue yourself too much. Um, but there's always everyone's training is different. Like I said, if you're trying to build for size, you want you want to fatigue yourself. You want to build more volume. Your your muscles grow when you're in like that 10 to 12 range. When you're in the five to six, you're more building strength. And then like one to three, it's like you're testing your strength. So you want to build that volume. People don't do enough reps. So if you're just trying to get big, like, dude, you guys do more reps and add the weight too. So you can't be afraid to go up. So that's basically it. This is you, Marissa? Yeah. Let's go. your elbows when she goes down, she's trying to bring them in as close as she can. And that's going to protect the shoulders. Oh, there you go. Let's go. Oh. Yes. Nice. Up. Oh. Yes. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. 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 See, so like, she, her, her like heaviest set today was like 
two tens, and then she just basically took off like five pounds from that, and now she's staying here and doing like what you got three sets of six or something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's like her volume because what's three by six, like 24 reps or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, so you're just getting like kind of heavier weight for volume. There's no way she'd be able to do 18 reps with like this weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you want to try, you want to do this? Yeah. Let's do this. How many reps are you doing? Go for like six too, that'll be good. And we'll, we'll see how it feels. Remember, make some, there you go. Stay tight. Yeah, there you go, banging the bar good right there. There you go, that looks good. Two, there you go. Three, nice. One more, two more. Five, one more. Up to six. There you go, that was way better. How'd that feel? Woo, so good. I can see it in your like arms. They were like, they were coming in more, so like, yeah. yeah. And she did triceps today too, so hey. a little fatigue. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so today I got um, I got photo press. Basically, that means pausing it above your chest. I have three sets of four with that at like RP6. So basically, like nothing heavy, just like teaching my body how to press up with my lats. And then I got three sets of five with a little bit heavier weight. So I'm gonna show you what a photo press is right now. A lot of people think, you know, you got to touch your chest all the time when you bench, but a spoto press is a good way to teach you how to fire up with your lats. From here, you want to pause one inch off your chest here, come straight back up. Down, straight back up. Pause, straight back up. That's called the spoto press. So I have three sets of four with that. And then I'm gonna go up and wait and do three sets of five and um, going all the way down to my chest. So the spoto press is named after Eric Spoto, one of the strongest bench pressers in the world. He would never touch his chest in training and everybody would talk shit on him like, oh, you're not gonna be able to bench that weight in com real competition and you go on competition and lift even more weight because when you're actually controlling it and stopping it and then going back up without letting it rest on your chest and then going back up, it's actually a lot harder. So. I don't know if you wanted to try that, homie. Yeah. We'll do yeah, today. We'll try it. Basically, just like do a photo. So just okay. like, like I said, don't think about like having your arms stop the weight. Think about your back. So when you're in, when you're in here, pick it up. So control, control, control. One inch off your chest, straight back up. Don't go here, and then when I say up, don't go down and then back up. Yeah. You have to just pause, straight back up. Pause, straight back up. Make sure you're really using your back to pause it because if you just go down to here and then you go back up, you're fucking only using your pecs and your and your front delts and they're gonna die out. So it's just gonna teach you how to like really use your lats. And then we'll do three sets of five and going all the way down to your chest. How many breaths right here? Just do four. Four? Just do four. Go so slow all the way down and then get that dead stop. on the way down. One inch off your chest, right there. Back up, there you go. Pause it a little bit more at the one inch off your chest. Pause, up. There you go, like that. Pause, up. There. Just really think about pressing up with those laps, right? When you pause it, press with the laps. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. You feel that more? You go up a little bit more and then try to do three sets of five with just like one all the way down to your chest. Hell yeah. Do that for rank juice photo. Four, four reps right here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Slow down, the way down, slow down, pull it down. You're pointing it to your chest though. Like, you're going so slow, I love it. <laughs> Watch her elbows right before so like she gets it up. And right before she go down again, she re, she re gets some tights. So that's what I want you to think about when you're pressing. There you go. Yes, let's go. Up. Woo! There you go. Hey. Let's go. Let's get it. That's it. Up. Yes. Hey. Hey. That's the best thing to look. 
I know, it's the best I've ever felt too. Yeah. That literally is so good. <laughs> Thank you. You wanna, you wanna do this? Oh, are you doing this way? Two tens? Twenty-five? Twenty-five? Should I do the regular or the, the pause? Uh, we, can do, we can do regular. Just think about your, um, you don't need a pause it. Just think about like your elbows coming in, bending the bar. You hold your breath the whole time. I hold my breath the whole time. I breathe before I bring it down, but I'm holding my breath the whole time, going down and up. There yeah. you go, almost in. Come on. There. Nice. There you go. Well, I think it helps with the more good. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go two more. We'll find out what we're Yeah. Oh. Good, one more, one more. Oh. Good. Oh yeah. How'd that feel? Let's go. When he benches my deadlift. <laughs> Before you can pick up the weight up, yeah, bring these elbows like that to keep these guys tight. Two, three. Two, three. Pause. Up. There, like that. Let's go. Pause. Up. Up. Good. Up. Good. Up. Good. That was good, that was good. Cool, cool, cool. Think about your breathing. So like, I was tell Mondo, like, um, when you breathe, a lot of people ask like, when do you breathe on a lift? So you wanna think right before you go down, you wanna take a big breath. And like exhale, once you're like already gonna get it, you're going down and I hear, you take a big breath and then you're breathing like out as you go down. You got, uh, the best way I say it is like, think of a, like, of a motor, like a car, any type of motor, a, a motor, works its best when it has compression meaning when it has like like compression when it's tight a motor doesn't work when it has no compression so your body when you let go of your air your body relaxes you don't want to be relaxed when you're lifting weight you want to be like tight you're keeping your body like you're trying to protect your body so think about taking a big breath hold it and then once you know you're gonna get up yeah you can exhale but don't exhale down here because even like your chest diaphragm if you go it like goes down and then when your chest goes down your shoulders get internally rotated so you're gonna put more pressure on here so just think about holding your breath and breathe already when you like know you're gonna get the lift because it's not gonna affect you yeah yeah you know what i'm saying that's it four four yeah you can see it in your stomach pause up Pause, up, there you go. Pause, up, there you go, one more. Up, good. You just gotta get, Frank, you gotta get your, 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 uh, your back. <laughs> you do it. What? He lifts, no he lifts. Not, uh, not now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the camera and make it. Yeah. yeah. I did this last week, so I gotta go up just a little bit. Stomach See how like stays up? Yeah, my mind I see when I went down. Yeah. When you're putting a lot of, like I said, when you something goes down, you're internally rotating your shoulders. You want to keep that chest, your diaphragm up as high as possible. Yeah, yeah. So like what you were saying is in my in my in my, in my video, I can see my stomach, it would release the air when I'm down. So now he's telling me to don't release it as I'm coming up. With the 25, you want to do one more with the 25 or four? I might want to put more. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. 25 and a 10 or something? I'm going to be between a 5 or a 10. Let's do one last set, right? 10. Okay. I'll call you. Okay. Then. There's five. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's 
don't know. You want that chest thing up. Stronger. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that he probably felt stronger because him bringing your chest up like that puts your shoulders in such a better position. Like I said, when you're bringing your your chest is a little bit flat. When you go down, look at your shoulder. You can see this, like this shoulder already goes internally rotated, and we're already naturally internally rotated because we're on our phone all day. We're like this, but when you're working out, you need to be pulled back as much as possible. That's why I laugh on the internet when people are like, "Oh, you arch your back," or give girls shit when they arch their back. But that's them being smart, being safe, protecting their shoulders. So every time you're doing any type of like upper body exercise, always pull those shoulders back. <laughs> I'm almost done with my first tub of creatine, so <laughs> like we're freaking getting the game. All right. Let's get it, girl. I got you. Think about okay. bending that bar, okay? Let's go. Pull it off. It's all you. Come on. I got you. Right here. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Come on. Stay tight. Stay tight. Big breath. Hold your breath. Go. 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 There you go. You stay tight. One more. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go. 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 Nice. See that first rep is exactly what I we were talking about. <laughs> no, that first rep, she like, she went down and right when she hit her chest, she went, she yeah. blew all her air out and then the weight just stopped. It like, Listen to it, advice, it went guys. nowhere. <laughs> and then her second one, I said, stay tight. And she took a big breath and it went up. Yes. Like, I didn't even touch the second rep. So like, that's what I'm Thank trying you. to say. Think, think about your core. Like everyone breathes their air out too much. Especially in a squat, you could really get hurt. Yeah. When you take a deep breath and then you blow it out in the hole and right here with weight on your back and your spine, you, your core is keeping your your, uh, your spine protected. So just think about bracing that core. But yeah, good job. Thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is just like a warm up, believe it or not, to like get my get my body firing right. Even when you're laying on the bench like Mambo, think about, and Frank, like listen up, like think about keeping your like, your back pinched. Don't just like, right now my back's flat. And you don't want to grab the bar flat. You want to think about like getting your scapula pinched up. That's why I bring my feet up like this and I'll dig my, my back into the bench. So my scapula is like locked in and then I grab my grip, and my grip, turn it in and now my back is fucking locked in. Oh, right, give me a lift up. One, two, like you should be like cramping up when you're like first learning how to bench because you're trying to keep your back just so tight. You want, look at my back. You don't want to get it to be flat. You want it to keep it pinched as you're pressing and like when i first started learning how to bench like that like i hated it i was like fuck my back is like cramping up but like you're just not used to it so like anything it just takes you to get out of your comfort zone and you can't be doing the same thing or eventually you're gonna hit a plateau i will i just use the bench like heavy like that and that's why i overworked my shoulders so now i'm trying to work more of my back to get to that 500 pound bench i get to 500 500 you guys can bench me and Marissa. Stack on top of each other. Woo! <laughs> 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 you sit right here. Same thing, 
last one was good. Two. Two. Oh, up. There. There you go. There you go. Oh, up. Nice. That was good, dog. Up. Yep. One more. One more. Pause. Up. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, good shit. Well, that looked good. Yeah. Okay. Got learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> that looked good. That looked good. That, that's why I fuck with this guy, man. <laughs> All right, we got regular bench now. So, like, competition bench. Pausing to your chest. And now I got three sets of five. I just did three sets of four with, like, 235. This 315. I might need to go up more. What am I missing now? Alright, you got 335. I got five reps right here. Do we like double overhand? Double overhand? Oh, oh, like that. That's a, huh? One, two, yep. Heavy. Damn. My hands are like sliding. I need some chalk. I need some chalk in this gym. Thank you. Hit three? I don't know. <laughs> Should I hit three? Or what? Try 275. 275, yeah. Pause? Yeah, pause. Just think about the same thing. I just went all the way down. Just pause in the wet. Second set, 335. Honestly, that first set didn't really feel too good. I feel like I was trying to use my back, but just wasn't really feeling it that much. So this time, you ain't gonna get stronger in a workout, but one thing you can control is your technique and making sure it's perfect so the lift feels a lot better. So I'm hoping I get a little bit of better technique right now and it goes up a lot easier. Stop! I'm able to keep my elbows in I can like um, finish through with my triceps but when my elbows flare out it's just like too much shoulders and uh there's too much on my shoulders so that actually felt really good one more set one more set
I always say last set, best set, because it's the most important. You're the most tired. Woo -wee. Come on, baby. That was heavy. I fatigued out. That felt good though. Just like I said, just a little bit uh, fatigued, but that's you gotta you gotta make sure that technique is still perfect. But uh, man, you gotta push yourself. So good. Titty. Get it. Oh, there you go. Come on. neutral grip pressing high reps like i said building up that volume um i think it sets to 25 and then with the immediately with the ham wrap of push-ups till burnout ham wrap means as many reps as possible so we're going to be focusing on just getting as many push-ups as possible after we do 25 reps of chest press it's, it's a killer it, it burns so you're going to see some uh me dying right now neutral grip pressing so like this so really focus on the lats 25 reps and then immediately right after I'm gonna do like a burnout with push up. Are we using 10 pounds or 15? Maybe. Dumbbells. As heavy as possible. I'll be doing like 80s, 100s. 25 reps. <laughs> How many reps? 10 or 15. He said 10, 15 pounds. <laughs> this guy wants to kill me. I'll be doing, I did 100. Did I do 100s or no? I did 90. I did the 15. You can do the 15, Mondo. <laughs> yeah, so it's tough, but. And then the hardest part is the push-ups after. But I want you guys to do like good push-ups. So like, uh, watch my back. So you need a push-up right here. I don't want your back to be flat like this, just banging them out like here. I want your back to be in here, your scapula. Come in here, back up. Just, see how I'm pressing up my back? I'm not going We're not locking out? Just, yeah, just short, just short, short reps, but I want this, I'll, that shirt needs to be wrinkled. It needs, you need to stay like this. I don't want to see your back coming out like that because then you're just using all your chest and a little bit of try. I want it to be more of your back. And then same thing when you're in here, you'll, you'll see it's just a lot. You don't need to go extend your back because then you're losing all the tightness in your back. You want to keep, you can still all walk out, but make just sure your back is pressed back. Yeah, so it's off. Give me more reps. <laughs> I did 90s? Try 95 this time. 95! Don't do high reps. Good! <laughs> 25 reps. This is my cardio. I don't do no cardio. Good. 
cardio. Oh yeah, push up, push up, push up, push up here. Tattoo on. Where are you tattooing at? Little cheek out of Fontana. Give me up. All right. I'm gonna see if I can get 70 for 25 reps. Then push ups. I don't know. I think I'm gonna die right now. Yeah, I can never go on, bro. I, I, 
every time I do one set, like it, I'm burnt. Oh, like, right, good. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try maybe <laughs> 90s or 95. Where you at? You're at 90 right now, aren't you? No, I did 95. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna go down? Yeah, probably. I think 
Come on. It's a perfect player. Yeah. Nice. That was really good. See that back kick? Yes, right there. That's it. Good. Breathe out. Breathe it out. Go. I need it. <laughs> The whole point of that is to keep like your back tight as you're pressing. You don't want to go all the way up and keep it rounded. You just want to keep it nice and tight. Just trying to teach your, your um, I would say like your brain and your mind to like stay in that same position because when you're doing a flat belt dumbbell, that's the exact same thing you're doing and that's the hardest part for people's bench. They get off their chest and then their shit just gets flat and then they're wavy and stuff like that. So, Alright guys, we got a new machine, new back machine. What's the brand called? I think it's called Foreman's. Brand, oh yeah, Foreman's a brand. I've never tried this machine. It's like a, basically like a, like a row. We got all these different attachments, so. Do you want to go wide? I'm gonna do double, just do double. Someone told me, think about your elbows going back as far as possible. We were talking about like the internal rotation with your shoulder. You don't want to pull with like your arm because then look at your shoulder. Your shoulder goes in. You want to pull with that elbow and pull your elbow back because then your, your, your shoulder goes back too. So you just get more back gains. There you go. Like that. Perfect. Let me focus on that speed. There you go. Look right here. Yep, right there. Squeeze. Good, good, good. You know, I want you guys to see the back. Oh, okay. Come on, see the back knuckles. Yeah. Get the good lighting, Noe. Get some good lighting. Oh, she don't need it, she said. <laughs> <laughs> This is someone named hey, hey, after somebody. Look, I don't know how to recurse it. <laughs> Oh, 
Is that where you put it? How do you do it? Alright guys, just finished the training session today. I socked myself in the face. <laughs> we did the peg. We, I did the pegboard, and at the very end, that shit didn't go all the way in. But I hit myself right in the lid. It was a but trap. It was a trap, <laughs> right? Um, other than that, good workout. Um, did the spoto, then the three by five off the chest. Did the freaking twenty five reps. I know these guys were dying out used to all chiller. those reps. <laughs> then the chiller. ab wraps with the push ups. Um, did a bunch of different back exercises. If you guys need to hit like a gym up that's like has some different machines, this gym is super dope over here in RSM. Um, we're gonna get another video with the owner, um, Dr. Mike. He owns the, basically like a recovery center. It's upstairs. We'll show you guys next time. And we'll do a little video more on like how to keep your body healthy and all the stuff we do, you know, to keep our body running on all cylinders. But other than that, great workout. I'm gonna try to get these videos out once a week. Little team workouts with the squad. It's always fun, you know, pushing with your friends, guys, girls, just, you know, even though, you know, we're lifting more weight, it's always cool seeing the girls still do it and get in there. Um, Ashlyn couldn't uh, be over here for the outro. She's training a client, but uh, we just met her today. Super cool chick. Um, she hit, hit it with us too. So um, yeah, man, you be ready for some more content. Um, I'm going to be out there in Colorado. So anybody in Colorado, um, February 10th, 11th, 12th, I'll be over there. So stay tuned for some more content. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.